So we are measuring how much buttermilk? Uh, half a cup. Half a cup of buttermilk. Oh, you have to take the label. You have to take the label. Wow. So now we're going to measure Can two and a half cups of points. whole milk. It's Dot important points. to have whole milk for this process to happen correctly. So we're going to add that to our saucepan that has the half a cup of butter. So we're going to have a strainer and a bowl underneath to catch the whey that comes through. And you can either use cheesecloth or a very clean towel that's thin so that we can strain the curd into that towel and collect the whey at the bottom. We're calibrating our thermometer to make sure that it reads 32 degrees Fahrenheit in the ice water. It's very important so we can get an accurate temperature for our milk. All right, so we are heating the milk to what temperature? 90 degrees. 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And as soon as we get to 90 degrees, we're going to turn our heat off and then add what? Chymosin. Good job. So we're putting in two to three drops of chymosin into the milk that we heated to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Suck it up with the eyedropper. I don't think there's enough in here. It'll be okay. No, there's nothing. Okay, so see what you can get. It wasn't over. It's all like, it won't suck it up because it's too far. Where did you get this term from? Yeah, okay. Okay, so close. Got like one and a half. Okay. Can you just pour what's in the little That's container? That's more drop. Maybe not. That'll be good, won't it? Right. Is that now, two to three drops? Stir it for two to three minutes. Okay, so we're going to slowly stir. Until it yeah. separates into curds and whey. For two to three minutes. Or when it starts curding the hurdle. Yep, and what we're looking for is Yellow separation yellow. into the curd and whey, like Corey said. Okay, so we're just checking in again a few minutes later. Not much is happening yet. We're just trying to be patient. All right, ladies in this group, what process is being simulated by the chymosin going into the milk here? We're kind of simulating what? Gelatinization. Not gelatinization. <laughs> Curdling? Curdling, but what is, like, what would be happening if this were actually in the stomach of the animal? What is that called? What would this process be called? Even. Kind of simulating digestion. 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 Yeah. All right, show me that spoon. We've got the very beginning of it happening. If you can see that protein clumping on our spoon there, that's the very beginning of the curd. <laughs> and whey. And then what will be left behind is the whey. Super exciting. Look what's happening in here. Lift us. Let's lift some up for us. So we can see it. Oh. <gasps> Yummy. That's the curd Put separating from the whey. I Keep stirring know. very gently. Oh. This is looking good. No, it's not. This looks is so this good. Is this process not amazing? No, it's no. gross. <laughs> Yummy. It's amazing. Yum. All right, so we're just going to continue to stir a little bit more until that curd has really clumped up and we've got a yellowish green liquid left behind. You haven't told me any of the information. And maybe in just a couple of more minutes after some gentle stirring, we're going to strain the curd. So we're going to pour the curd and the whey into the towel line strainer. We're going to collect the cheese, the curd, and also collect the whey underneath. Go ahead. <laughs> and then what Ethan is going to do is um, pull the towel up and around and press out the liquid from the curd. Come on, be a man. Nancy. Stop it. <laughs> okay. Ethan. Honestly, you're such a baby. Be a chef. Let's go. Yummy. Should it work? Oh my god. Exactly that. Look at that. This is great. I think it's funny. <laughs> oh. Look at this process. It is amazing. The curd is separating from the whey. It's the meaning of life right now. Excellent. Cool. Uh, one second it'll be milk and the next it'll be cheese. 
Yes, one second it is milk, <laughs> and the next it's cheese. Hannah, you have a way with words. I figured So this is the whey, and it is a concentration of protein. Um, it has kind of a yellowish green color, and we're all going to taste it just to see what it tastes like. Ew. It's just very watery with a slight milk flavor. Why'd you give me I a hate milk? milk. Why'd you give okay. me a milk? Give it a little taste. Milk. You don't have to have very much at all. I will throw up if I drink milk. Okay, so we're just about ready to separate the curd from the whey and press the curd. Okay. Oh. Get out of here. And then Corey, you're just gonna grab the towel, pull it up, and like squeeze the cheese underneath of it. What? I don't need. She's the one wearing gloves. Well, then put some gloves on. It'll be fine. Ethan did it once. Come on, Corey. Yeah, go with seasoning. Would you like on your curd? You like here? You're gonna skip the last squeeze too. Come on, let's do this. If I had to do it, you have to do it. Let's do this. Just take a Girl, quick hold it. You can squeeze it. Oh, Step squeeze up to the plate here, no. chefs. I stirred it. Corey can squeeze it. <laughs> okay, it looks oh, like an albino so stick of poop. I'm not even. <laughs> okay, so we've got the curd that has been seasoned with what's in there, guys? Uh, salt, pepper, pretty much. Yeah. Salt, pepper. I think a little, little bit of rosemary. Bit of rosemary. Yeah. Okay. And so you can season it to taste. And if you wanted to turn it into cottage cheese, what could you do? Add the cream. Add the way. Add a little bit of whipping cream. You could add a little bit of whole milk, kind of depending on what you wanted to do. Wait, so what is the way?